Hello everyone, Star here, and welcome to my video on the Zaku 2.0 changes. Zaku has been out for some time now, and, and well, they've had a rough release with not a lot of people liking their abilities and performance in the game, so it was already time for an update. I'm not going to judge DE too harshly for releasing Zaku and changing their abilities after the first couple weeks. It was a brand new idea that admittedly was really difficult to put into the game without breaking everything. I mean, it was kind of vague, a broken Warframe, and DE kind of did take it literally. But DE did release a workshop recently talking about the changes that will come to Zaku's abilities. Zada's Whisper will now, when procced on an enemy, redirect any incoming damage or gunfire to the enemy's head, or wherever you're aiming at. DE also said as a side note that the body still might get hit even though you're aiming at the head, so other portions of the body might also get hit even if you're aiming there as well just to give it a fair bit of balance. Grasp of Lock is now recastable, and you will get a set number of targets that you can steal weapons from, but the targets get cut in half to the number of weapons you have active on the ability, meaning that if you have 6 enemies you stole their weapon from, you will have 3 weapons active. DE also changed the targeting system so it doesn't shoot invulnerable enemies, and changes the target range by increasing it. Accused will now be recastable to the max number of targets, same as Grasp of Lock. Targets will be divided by 2, so corrupted targets will be cut in half. Enemies that get corrupted with the recast will also have their own durations individually. Interesting. They also fixed the HUD tracker for it so it's easier to look at. Gaze just gets improved radius and defense reduction to enemies that are in the area. Denies beam width and base range are increased a full 15 meters and it can now be cast while moving. The vast untime will not be changed as it's already pretty decent and DE also has some smaller bug fixes listed on the forums if you want to read that. DE does plan to release this fix along with Arcanus so hopefully sometime soon. So that was my video on the Zaku 2.0 changes. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon for more frame content. Feel free to leave any questions or comments that you have in the comment section below, and I'll get to you there. This has been Star, signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.